everybody, so this is the design autobiography. Um, and this assignment is a little interesting. Uh, it, it's challenging the way of what I have to kind of um, go introspective and figure out about how I tell the story of how designs kind of affected my life and how, you know, how I've been designed through kind of analyzing some of these artifacts. Um, and it's been pretty interesting. Uh, I'm a generally pretty introspective person, but there's um, kind of some revelations that come out of this process um, throughout the class. And, different learnings that have happened, but kind of going down this list of uh, 20 artifacts that are kind of after this processing and what they kind of tell a story bigger than just through functionality, um, but they somewhat express uh, who I am and um, help tell the story of Tyler Higgins. Uh, so kind of starting at the top. Uh, I started with the nearest thing, which is my phone case. It's, uh, it's leather, it also acts as my wallet. Um, I have a rock that I picked up in Bolivia when I was on a mission trip there. I have a fishing lure from my childhood. Uh, a bracelet I wore for years that says worth it on it. Um, it's now, it broke and so it's hung up on my wall. A set of bullhorns that my good friend gave me for graduation. Uh, another lucky rock that's been to my mother. Uh, my golf club. Um, I have a big idea board that's full of different business ideas um, and kind of more, and personal ideas. Uh, that hangs up my wall. Um, a shirt from the first company I ever created, uh, and then my Bible is the number 10th one. And then move on to the new 10 um, would be my backpack, uh, my car, the Mustang. Um, all these, I have probably 10 motiv like frame motivational quotes on my wall. There's, you know, from Abraham Lincoln to Oprah Winfrey to um, Steve Jobs, all these people that are pretty um, admirable people. Uh, they just kind of seem to seek wisdom off of them. Um, I have my, back, my MacBook, uh, my conference journals, uh, a picture with my best friend, uh, the kind of decorations that my mom used to set up my apartment that kind of makes it just feel homey, uh, my bicycle, my everyday to-do list, and my favorite pen. Um, so these are all 20 things and all of them on their own are kind of random and don't really go together that much. but. Um, and it's honestly kind of hard to come up with 20 things. I'm not really a very materialistic person. I don't have a lot of, just, I don't go shopping. I don't have a lot of stuff, really. Um, but, you know, I got to like 15. I'm like, really, what else is kind of something that helps, you know, express me? I mean, so a couple of these 20 things, and they do all these things by themselves. They all have their own individual stories. I could talk for hours on it about. Um, but when they're put together, they really do kind of encompass who this person is to a Higgins, you know. Uh, if somebody was designing a character of what I would be in a cartoon, they could take all these things and incorporate them over a storyboard um, and it would build into this personality that I believe I am. Um, and that's a whole other conversation of, you know, what can you really say, of, you know, it, it's all my perception of who I think I am um, and that's really subjective and not necessarily, you know, how I might portray myself to the world to be a little vastly different. Um, but, you look at these kind of, you know, uh, artifacts as they're, they're just the stories behind them and the value of the personality that they portray on their own, put them together, and uh, they really do help design uh, who we are and um, kind of who we carry stuff to be. Everybody expresses themselves in a different way and it's one through kind of their emotion, but it is, you know, how they dress and how they act and the things they do put value on their life, uh, you know. A random rock that would look like something out of a driveway would mean nothing to anybody. But to me, it's just saying I will hold on forever and uh, tell a story that was the most adventurous story of my whole life. Um, and I will cherish the day I die. Um, and I could I could go on and on about every single thing in here, but they all speak into either kind of what I think my personality represents and the things I'm interested in, like entrepreneurship. I, I have a it's a little special to into that. I have my MacBook, I have um, stuff that I try to be kind of a, a little forward thinking um, in that. I'm glad I in a spot where I'm trying to grow spiritually and so kind of talking about my mission trips and looking at an introspective way into you know my uh, theological studies of my Bible and how much kind of that um, value has on to it. Um, it's all kinds of and I could go into more detail on that. Um, but I thought it was really interesting when I was doing this kind of analysis, is looking at, you know, 
what would this look like, list look like two years ago? Um, you know, if I just graduated high school, how would this be different? Or if I, uh, you know, five years from now, how is this going to be different? You know, what things have going to come into my life that are going to be that are going to blow some of these out of the water? Uh, and looking at you know, as we're always evolving, um, and this personality that we're designing um, over time is always going to be changing. You know, that, that character we're playing will continue to change and evolve and gain experiences and knowledge and uh, experience you know trials and tribulations that alter our perspective and alter our stuff. And, but at the end of the day, we are you know anybody would say you know 20 years from now. I would hope to have this kind of life. You know, if it's, I want you know the house and I want to take the fence, or I want to travel here, I wanted to reach this professional goal. Or we all want to design this life for ourselves, and we all want to kind of in our minds we have this you know this is who I am, whether that's based off where you came from or where you kind of want to go, or you know it's, this is my personality trait. You know, this is this is who I stand for. This is what I believe, and we're going to express that through these artifacts, these things we place value on. Um, and it's just like if we're, you know, designing a room for, uh, you know, a certain event, say it's a, um, you know, if it's a business event versus if it's a political event, the, the aspects of the furniture to the propaganda to all this stuff can be very vastly different. Um, or how we design the living room in our home versus how we would design a, you know, kitchen in a restaurant, you know, they're all there, you know, how much weight we put on practicality versus how much weight we put on the emotional attachment to stuff, you know, in the living room we're going to have pictures up on the wall of our, our dearest family, you know, if we own a restaurant, we're not going to care at all about that, the kitchen is going to be so practical and very functional in design, um, and all this stuff kind of works together, like, that's, I'm just trying to make the point that, um, in everything we do, design is expressed through our personality. And the same way, our, you know, our per personality um, has to be designed. And it, it comes from, you know, what our, our parents thought uh, they would want us to be. You know, they were the first ones to really start designing. They dressed us, they uh, got us interested in stuff that they thought would be best for us to design the most optimal life in their opinion. And, you know, I personally can be super grateful for the parents I had, but I can look at, well, you know, now I'm getting older and I, I kind of make my own opinions about stuff. Um, I think that's an interesting time for most kids that are kind of in this college stage and, and looking at something like this project is it makes you really start realizing that, all right, you know, what am I going to take from here and how am I going to design my life going forward? Because um, up until this point, a lot of, you know, who we are is based on our, our parents or the the friendships that we just kind of made because of proximity growing up. Um, but that's kind of, to look at all how these things can possibly affect us going forward or how they've affected us in the past. Um, but that design process really, it's, you know, it's looking at something and seeing how, you know, through creative problem solving, um, how can we can be innovative, you know, functional, how can we, uh, stand out but also serve a purpose or how can we accomplish this certain feeling through um, you know environment through it's all you know how are my senses going to interpret something um, it's whether it's a rela you know we design relationships we design products we design services we design organizations um, all that stuff comes from uh, a base root of I'm going to make something that I, I want to be attracted to people I want to attract and I want to serve its purpose, whatever that is, um, and go on to continue to do that. Uh, but so it's kind of been a lot of spillage a little bit, uh, but the overall autobiography, if I could kind of sum it up, is that, you know, we have to keep kind of working on this design. It's the, you know it's never done. It's uh, always in progress. Um, but I can say through this kind of looking at just these items that you know my life is really what I care a lot more about um, you know one value in my past and kind of looking at where I came from and the, the people who have loved me along the way, but also trying to portray this uh, self of somebody who is. Um, committed to uh, 
serving a better purpose bigger than myself, but also wants to be innovative and wants to be seen as somebody who's intelligent in a way. Um, I and mean, I've seen kind of some selfish relations that, you know, everybody's putting on a face um, in some way or another. Everybody's trying to portray themselves as somebody that they may or may not be all the time. Um, but just trying to be the most genuine version of myself. Um, I said that's probably my biggest takeaway out of this project and out of this class. Um, but that's it. So uh, I look forward to hearing feedback from this and enjoy the rest of the class. Peace.